Homecoming weekend in Johnson City highlighted by a couple of big regional showdowns on the hardwood. First, the 2-0 Lady Bucks trying to build momentum for a road trip against Appy State. Coming off A-Sun Player of the Week honors, Tara Davis turned in a game-high 20 points to go with three steals, three assists, and two blocks. Freshman rising star Destiny Mitchell finished with 11 along with eight rebounds, but like the rest of the team, lost steam in the second half as the Mountaineers plowed ahead to the 75-56 win. First time Karen Kemp has lost to App State in the MSHA Center since 2003. Also, Davis, by the way, 8 for 8 at the free throw line, has not missed since last March 5th at the conference tournament. And on Saturday, ETSU announced its homecoming king and queen amid the homecoming contest for men's basketball as the Bucks look to get back on track after finding themselves fried in Kentucky. Well, Mike Smith, certainly no chicken as he hits one of his three made threes on the afternoon. Smith with 14 first half points, went on to almost double that in the end with a career best 26 on nine of 14 with seven boards. Always exciting to see what a healthy Mike Smith can do. Justin Tubbs needing a quality outing to get jump started. 13, including this monster slam late in the second half. Tubbs gets whistled for a technical foul, though. Take a closer look. Taps the backboard on the way by. Can't do that. But by that time, the Bucks had things well in hand anyway, thanks in large part to Isaiah Brown. Coming in with an efficiency rating of 21 after the Kentucky tilt. Simply put, that's incredible. Brown, 10 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 blocks, just one shy of the school mark there. And Micah Williams up with the tap off the lob from Adam Salazzo. The foul and the ensuing free throw good. Williams 10 and 8, Bucks by 13 over Tech to pick up their first win of the season. Williams also 4 for 4 from the charity stripe. Bucks 80% overall, knocking down 24 freebies in the victory. Great way to close out the homecoming weekend inside the MSHA Center. I'm John Stevens. <laughs>